Good morning, boys and girls. Merry Christmas. Thanks for being here on this video this Christmas morning so we can share a little bit of the news of Jesus, our Savior. In the Old Testament lesson that we had in our church service today, we heard from Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, which said, Behold, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son. His name shall be called Emmanuel. That is a puzzling verse to a lot of people. It's a puzzling verse to me. I wonder if it puzzles you. What do you know about puzzles? Are you very good at puzzles? If you have a puzzle, is it harder to tell what it is when it's all in pieces laying on the floor or after you put it all together? Yeah, well, it's all in pieces on the floor, isn't it? Because while it's all in pieces, you can't tell what the picture is. You don't know what it's going to be. And it's only after you put it all together that you start to see the whole picture, right? Yeah, I think so too. That's the way it is for me. But I've got a different kind of a puzzle here today. I've got a puzzle that's all put together. And when it's all put together, it's hard to tell what it is. Can you tell what that is? It's a very different kind of a puzzle. This puzzle, you can only figure out what it is when you start to take it apart. For example, when you take out this piece and you see that it's a woman named Mary. And when you take out this piece over here and you see that it's a man whose name was Joseph. And it was Mary's husband. And when you take out this piece over here and you see, oh, this piece is a little baby in a manger. A little baby born to Mary. And his name was? Yeah, that's Jesus. Oh, and then you see some other people out here. It's a person out in a field. And then out with that person in the field who's a shepherd. What goes with shepherd? Yeah, there are some sheep. Like that one. And that one. And there's even another one. And that one. And then in addition to those shepherds, Mary and Joseph are at a stable. And what do you find in stables? What's this? Yeah, it's a cow. There's one of those there too. Oh, and then over here, there's these three people. And they have crowns on their head. There's one there, and one there, and one there. What are they? Yeah, they're the wise men. And what are they riding on? Yeah, camels. And here they come. They're also coming to see this baby that's born. And, and where's he being born? Yeah, in a stable. Look at that. This puzzle, when you finally take it apart, you start to see what it is and you realize that it's a puzzle that tells us the story of Jesus' birth. Jesus, our Savior, was born for us. You know, that's what's happening in this Old Testament lesson too. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Such a puzzling verse. But once it's taken out of there, and we see it born in Jesus of the Virgin Mary, we realize what it means. It means Emmanuel. God is with us. That Jesus is God being born into this world for you and me, and for our forgiveness. That's what the Gospel writers of the New Testament say about Jesus. And that's how it fulfilled the word of Isaiah the prophet. Because Jesus was born and given the name Jesus because he will save his people, us, from our sins. And now we know we have this promise of Emmanuel with us always. Emmanuel means God with us. It means God's with you. And God's with me too. He's with us all the time, and he will never leave us. Would you join me in thanking God for that? For the gift of Emmanuel and for the promise of his word that's not puzzling to us anymore. 
because you and I know the truth of it. We've seen the whole picture. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being born into this world to be our Emmanuel so that our sins might be forgiven and we would know that God is with us now and always. Help us to share that news with others so that other people will know God is with them too. We are not alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, thanks for being with us today. I'm glad you joined us for our children's message. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas.